All right, you guys, we got a bit of a special treat for you guys today. Very interesting. We have received a replay from some of the pros uh, against uh, some Joes. This is a 2v4 sent in by Bowser and Land Planters on this side here. And they are playing as Pinch Fist, I believe, against some Joes that are uh, Eagle Eye, I believe. So... Uh, kind of interesting here. Uh, we haven't really cast one of these before. Typically, pros versus Joes is, usually has me in it. But uh, this replay was so so cool that uh, I just thought I, we should we should do it. So let's uh, let's take a look here, guys. So this is two v four. We got the pros Bowser and Land Planters against the Joes, uh, the anonymous crew. And uh, we're gonna hit F eight here so you guys can see the team in the corners. The guys talking up there on the chat. Uh, looks like we're gonna have a nuke rush coming out of the top base and shotguns. This is probably gonna be nuke shotgun If I'm guessing this is a very very powerful strategy um, It is however incredibly weak in this in the in this specific type of game where you have you know only two players versus four because You need a crap load of shotguns for your shotgun guy because he has to shoot at four different bases as compared to like two different bases in a 2v2 so, um, whether or not this is going to work out, I don't know. But you can see here, uh, top base has set down two swarm launchers. There's the upgrade center, so it is going to be, uh, it is going to be nuke. Nuke shotgun, because there's the upgrade center there as well. Building in the 2x3s, or the 2 by 25s and a halfs, I guess. To fit the shotguns, this is a very interesting setup. You guys should copy this, uh, definitely. Um... What do we got over here? Gunners with no technology. That's not good. Uh, an upgrade center with gunners and a mini gunner. And we've got, okay, so this guy's not following suit here. He's got the armory plus the munitions plant. Uh, and he's gonna, looking like he's gonna place a cannon on top of his core. We all know that this is a terrible idea. You don't ever wanna do this. I think the pros are sniping. Yes, they are. And the top guy, going for both tier one technologies um that's really odd i don't know why they would do that this is definitely a joe team for sure a lot of a lot of mistakes here already it's gonna be oh not even not even it's just straight shot to the core that's you could you could fart on that guy's base and it would fall over and explode uh again background bracing all up here um, these guys have not if you guys if you guys build like this if you guys do this check out the forts tutorials playlist here on YouTube uh, I should link that in the description down below. I will try to do that if I remember It's looking like these guys are all ready to go at three minutes We've already half almost halfway through the upgrade into the warheads shotguns coming through here now gonna just absolutely decimate here Oh, I saw a name there. I don't know who's doing who yet Bowser okay Bowser shotgun guy land planters is doing the nukes This is going to be an absolute Death shot. Look at this. Places the cannon up here with background bracing. Oh, this is painful. This is painful. Shotguns are putting in some serious work here. Bowser could end this game even with just shotguns. At this. Places the cannon, the, the 20 mil, still doesn't have doors in front of it. And he collapsed. All right, they've got one guy down. I don't even think the nukes were fired. They weren't. They literally just, they literally, he just like shotgunned him to death. That was hilarious. Uh, land planters, you can see there's cursor. Just getting a little bit of scoping out the situation. Want to know what's going down. Uh, we got the mini gunners. So uh, you can see here that Bowser's going to be using the shotguns. This is actually really clever. Land planters going to add in the mini guns to help suppress along with Bowser. Gonna be really good here. Um, this guy, oh my goodness gracious, these guys have no idea how to build a base. How did they even get into a lobby? That's what I want to know. And a nuke and collapses. Oh my goodness gracious, golly me. These guys aren't even gonna get a shot off. And you could actually kill that guy with shotguns and miniguns just shooting down at his core because it's all it's all background bracing. This is absolutely just a slaughter fest. Uses the miniguns to take out the nuke. Great job by the Joe. Well done. Um, would I have fired all three of them at the same time? Eh, but not bad. He knew what to do. He aimed. That's pretty good. 
Uh, looking like Land Planner's gonna fire his warhead here. Drunk Nuke coming in. And Gary the Gunner takes it out. Bowser's like, uh, how about no? Shotgun's just decimating these bases. These guys have absolutely no idea what to do. Um, building out of background bracing is, is, is not smart. Excuse me. Nuke comes in here. Should break him. Doesn't break him, but gonna drain his resources with that giant repair bill. And here comes another warhead. Coming in, coming in, coming in. Dun, dun, da. And boom. Gonna break him again with another repair bill. Bowser trying to take advantage of his shotguns. Gonna take out the foundations here on the base. Hopefully gonna get it to collapse. Shotguns are on cooldown, and Land Planters just relentlessly dropping those warheads. And who's up here? Princess K. All right. And the Joe using his miniguns. Somehow Bowser hasn't managed to uh, get an old shotgun snipe there. Just quite yet. I think he's having some hard time aiming upwards. And a warhead coming from Land Planters. No, 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 no. Boom! So... I don't understand why he's not firing them together. I think he's doing it on purpose because he could have killed this dude already if he fired them both. Um, although he is a little concerned about the miniguns. Yeah, just like that. The miniguns taking him out. Uh, there we go. Shot here. And Eagle Eye gets the ability off. Does virtually no damage. All right. Um, leave a comment down below, you guys, if you think Eagle Eye is in a good place right now. I feel like Eagle Eye isn't. And I think that Eagle Eye needs a little bit more of a rework in order to become viable. That's just my opinions. All right, Land Planners has had enough. He's going to fire double warheads at the situation. Bowser's going to be ready for the doors to open, but he repaired. He repaired so he couldn't shoot. Oh, guys, we talk about this in the materials section and the devices section of the um, uh, Pro Tutorial Forts playlist. So... Um, about those types of things. Uh, you're going to want to look at that. There he goes. Collapses with shotguns. Well done on Bowser's for taking out the base there. This front guy literally has nothing. Just wood spamming. Like, he's trying to place some gunners down. I don't think that's the answer. Um, and it's going to be GG. No, he survives! No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Look at his base. He's doing the wurbly flurp. Oh, man. And minigun's coming in. Do some damage. And... Oh, the shotgun's gonna take it out. They're on uh, reload. Miniguns are gonna fire. No. Land Planner's saving the energy so he can get another warhead shot off. And Bowser gets the collapse with the shotguns. Unbelievable. I uh, would strongly encourage you Joes to check out the tutorial playlist. I think it'll help a lot. You'll get some really good foundation items, uh, ideas from it, and uh, you guys will kick face next time. Guys, that was a, an actually a very interesting replay. Um, Bowser and Land Planters takes on some Joes in a relatively easy, not even eight minutes. Uh, basically a quick dumpster fire there, guys. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm your host, Synergy, and we'll catch you guys on the flip side. Hey.